Good morning, I'm Elizabeth Steele with Hamilton Native Outpost. And yesterday we dug some cores out of a couple fields and I was really surprised by the results and so I wanted to share that with you all. So we dug a sample out of a tall fescue field and out of a diverse native grassland. The diverse native grassland is basically a recreation of what would have been here before settlers would have come. So we have the native warm season grasses, the native cool season grasses, the native forbs and legumes all mixed together in that one area. And so when we dug these, uh, you know, a lot of times we don't look beneath the soil, but there's a lot we can learn. And so when we dug these, we were trying to compare and contrast the differences between them. So in general, when you look at a soil profile, you have the darker colors at the top. And that's where your organic matter is, or your carbon. That's where the, you know, when the plants take in carbon from the atmosphere, and it, it, some of that ends up in the soil, and then it is stored there as organic matter or soil, soil carbon, you can call it either thing. So the blacker it is, the better. And then generally in a soil profile, you have the dark stuff at the top and you get lighter as you go down or turn into reds or lighter browns. So that's a general story of a soil profile. Now the only thing that causes dark colors in the soil is not organic matter. Organic matter is definitely one. Plant ma or parent material can also be another. So what was the soil derived from? Was it a black kind of rock that the soil was derived from? That would also make it dark. In our area, we don't have the dark colored parent materials. So organic matter is our predominant coloring uh, of the dark colors. Yesterday we pulled those two samples as I mentioned, the one from the tall fescue field and the one from the diverse native grassland. And what we saw is in the tall fescue field, we saw that the surface soil is brown. Down to maybe, I don't know, it's really dark down to a couple inches and not really dark, I would say, you know, a darkish brown. It lightens up a little bit on down to five inches and then we really start losing colors we get into the red colors as we get on down there, the like reddish gray colors. And so this is what we were seeing in that fescue sense field. And it really makes a lot of sense because those fescue roots are predominantly in the top half a foot, maybe down to a foot, the deepest ones. So they're pretty shallow roots. Now, the diverse native grassland, on the other hand, we saw black colors. Instead of the dark brown, we saw black. And this really indicates that we're storing more carbon, more organic matter in that soil. And this core is 12 inches deep, and it is dark all the way down to the bottom of that core. Now, again, this really makes a lot of sense because the roots of those native plants, which is what is predominantly putting that carbon into the soil, that organic matter, that dark color, those roots can go down as deep as I am tall. They can go down six feet if it's a really loose, easy to root through soil. They can go 10 or maybe even 15 or 20 feet down into the soil. So these root systems are super impressive on these grasses. And that's what's giving you this dark organic layer that's so thick and deep. So again, that black color equals soil organic matter or soil carbon. And so you say, well, why is this important? And it really is important. If you're a producer, let's say you graze livestock. Your goal is to raise more forage for the livestock so that you can be more economical in your raising of those livestock. And so if we can make the soil healthier, in essence, by having the soil organic matter or soil carbon, basically we can have more productive plants. This is a sponge that holds the nutrients and the water for those plants. And so the more sponge that we have to do that, the more productive our soils can be. And so basically this organic matter or soil carbon is that carbon that was taken out of the air and it's being stored in the soil. So then it's not available to be in our atmosphere. So I was really excited when they brought these cores into the office yesterday to see this. I, I don't think I expected quite the difference in color. I knew that some of our other tests that we have done on these diverse native grasslands as opposed to a fescue field have really shown that, you know, there is more organic matter in those soils, but I didn't expect to see that difference in color. So I was really excited to see this and I'm really happy to be able to share it with you all.